I didn't even notice you guys. Well, I'm back. It's been many a moon since I made a video. I'm older, I'm wiser, and I'm a bit chubbier. And I'm here to impart all of those things simultaneously upon my viewers. Be blessed. Be blessed. Anyway, what I want to talk about today is something uh, very, very serious. Uh, it involves shaving, and it involves masculinity, and it involves some very valuable lessons that I've learned uh, along the way. Um, shaving is something we need to rethink in terms of how we think about it in relation to us as men. And yes, this message is going out for, to all men out there. And this is a really important message that I wanted to impart on all my fellow men out there. Um, something that we're not taking seriously enough as a society is just how evil we inherently are as men and many of our behaviors and how that relates to shaving and how important it is that we shave every day, but not, not just for aesthetic reasons. There's a lot of very important reasons we need to shave. And some of those reasons are as follows. Um, when we are born, we are born into sin, us as men. We are born into something you may have heard called toxic masculinity. And consequentially, the toxic masculinity has a lot of physical manifestations. And one of the most predominant forms of the physical manifestations of toxic masculinity are what we have become to know as whiskers. Whiskers are what happen anywhere from like this area, and well, some of you guys may be up to this area, which is kind of strange, but that's okay. And it goes down this area, all the way down here. And I've noticed a trend with a lot of the younger men these days where they grow out beards. They are not trimming their whiskers at all. And it creates a very full look, which um, is very symbolic. And um, see, what people don't understand, and this is very scientific, um, and you can, you can read this on a lot of Tumblr blogs, uh, which is where I got all this data, is that when the whiskers, when you let whiskers grow on you as a man, um, because we are so inherently toxic, um, the oils, the toxic oils, um, and uh, the abrasive hairs, that's why, that's why um, whiskers are so abrasive, is because they're toxic, um, and they're, they're, they're very hurtful. Okay, and they're very harsh, and they, they sting. That's why, I don't know if you've ever made out with a woman when you um, are unshaven for a few days, but she may say something the next day that her face is a bit sore. You hurt her face. You abuse. You, if, you've ever, if you've ever had a, a woman tell you that, you, phys you physically abused her. That's abuse. Okay? You abused her with your, um, your, your toxic masculinity, your toxic harmful whiskers. And the reason why, um, so, so what I, get back to what I'm saying, and again, this is all very scientific. Um, the toxic masculinity expresses itself through growing whiskers. Um, and that, uh, they sting, they're very hurtful, um, and they also um, contain a lot of um, natural oils that are, that are very toxic to anybody that comes in contact with them. Okay, so they're kind of like a uh, poisonous plant, but growing on your face. And many of you may have seen Gillette uh, recently um, address um, toxic masculinity in a recent ad that they had. And I'd really like to applaud them for tackling this. And they've tackled it so effectively. And um, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad they had the bravery um, to, to even begin addressing this sort of thing. I know there's been a lot of blowback, but you know what? Snowflakes, you need to get over it, bro flakes, because um, these whiskers are uh, in, an inherent part of our toxic masculinity. So 
I would advise all you men to start shaving every day and keeping the toxicity at bay. Okay? Um, and that's what I've um, rededicated myself to doing. Um, I'm even shaving like twice a day just to make sure they don't even get a chance to, the whiskers don't even get a chance to begin harvesting and radiating. Because I just, I, I don't even want, I don't even want my whiskers to be seen or, um, or, or have any um, unpleasant aesthetic effect on, on the poor women around me. So, um, I'd like to congratulate Gillette, and I'd like to encourage all of you men to shave every day to keep the toxicity away. And one more thing before I go. Um, it's important that we start um, designing a new lexicon, okay, um, uh, uh, in language. Um, and, and sometimes it's needed. And I'm, we've been seeing more and more of that, and that's very important. Okay, so I want to challenge and invoke a new word in your language. Instead of referring them to men's whiskers, I want you to refer to them as tiskers. Because whiskers are inherently toxic. So your toxic masculinity is expressing itself through, through its growth in your face. And so do not call them whiskers. Um, call them tiskers. Those are toxic whiskers. So um, that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to subscribe and let me know what you think in uh, the comments below. Ciao.